Hey guys, we're going to welcome back to another video. So basically, I want to talk to you guys about uh, just like a proposition again. Disclaimer, <laughs> this is my personal opinion and I can be wrong. I'm not trying to be right or anything. I'm just trying to bring you guys content as far as, you know, what I think. And again, if you guys disagree with me, you're welcome to say in the comments. But anyway, guys, I just want to give you guys a um, perspective on what I think about Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, the stuff that I'm seeing. Like... I'm not going to say Game Freak is being lazy with the game, but I'm not going to take it out of the question either. <laughs> like, the reason I say that is because uh, I was watching a new trailer, like everybody else, you know, the millions of people that love Pokemon, right? Um, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, bro, like, why is Team Yell the name of the new antagonist? Like, I'm really trying to figure out how Pokemon uh, Company and Game Freak decided that this would be a fantastic name, by the way, <laughs> for the new antagonist, guys. But other than that, um, like, you know, wh what what is this based off of, right? Like, where does the influence come from? Is this like a rock and roll influence? Like, what is it, punk rock? Like, wh what are they really going for by, you know, naming the antagonist that also... Um, Something else that, you know, I heard, like, again, I don't, I'm not going to say this is true or not, but I heard that uh, Game Freak, uh, not their main team that works on Pokemon games, but, like, their their B team decided to work on Sword and Shield. So, it might not be, like, the best up to par game that we were expecting, considering this is a very valuable franchise for Nintendo. <laughs> like, it's, it's crazy that... Uh, game Freak's main studio isn't working on this game, considering the impact that this game could have, you know, so min millions of Switches, right? You know, a lot of people haven't bought one because, you know, they're waiting on Pokemon. I know I, I originally, like, I wasn't going to buy one until Pokemon came out, but then I started seeing, like, other games I could play, like, RPGs, because that's the type of gamer I am. But the whole, like, Pokemon thing, man, it's like, there's been so much drama around that, too, you know? As far as, like, the national decks, you know, disappearing you know them taking out uh every pokemon again i'm not saying like they're being lazy but i'm saying like they're definitely having a uh, interesting business decision that they're making <laughs> when it comes to this game and like letting the end consumer like know like what's going on but i really do think that game freak should consider you know like letting us find out like more stuff you know when it comes to this game because again like it just seems kind of flat again like it's pokemon is gonna be hype but i'm i'm watching this video and again like i'm hyped because it's pokemon but at the same time i'm like like wh where where did where are these ideas coming from man <laughs> like why isn't this as hitting as like team rocket right like we all know what team rocket is like they're they're like the first uh like bad antagonist in a pokemon game but it's just interesting, man, because it's like, the more I look at it, again, I'm not saying Pokemon Sword and Shield is going to be a bad game or nothing like that, but I'm just wondering, like, why do I feel this not might not, like, be what we expect it to be, right? Because, again, Pokemon Let's Go came out, like, last year, and, again, I skipped out, man. Like, I didn't even have a Switch by then. <laughs> I was too busy focusing on other stuff, man, to be honest, but with Pokemon Let's Go, like, I felt like it was sort of like, uh, okay, Pokemon fans, like, here you guys go, man, like, I, we, we know you guys been waiting since uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so let's uh, give you guys, you know, something to hold you over to the next Pokemon, so it had been two years since the official release of a mainstream line Pokemon game, right, but Pokemon uh, Let's Go was more so like, the, the gap between mainstream and, like, Pokemon Go. Again, Pokemon Go is very successful for Game Freak. I'm not knocking that either. But it's, like, when it comes to, like, the traditional people like me, who's gonna, you know, question, like, their decisions, it's, like, I really hope uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield turns out to be, like, what the fans, you know, want it, right? I mean, so far, you know, we're finding out crazy stuff, like I said, like, the National Dex, uh, the team name, like, that was kind of cool to find out, it might have seemed like, you know, not as hard-hitting, considering, like, 
you know, their uh, previous uh, experiences and their previous resume with, like, Team Rocket and, like, Team Galactic and all them. But honestly, man, I just want to give you guys, like, a different perspective and really just, like, you know, give you guys, like, a different form of content. As always, make sure you like, uh, comment, and even subscribe if you like the content, guys. If you like this form of content where, like, I'm more so, like, trying to have a conversation with you guys or, you know, letting my uh, es expert <laughs> opinion uh, out there or whatever you want, guys want to call it, man. But anyway, guys, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.